show garage project still working on work making this workshop but we're a lot closer i got the closets and the little shielded entryway out of here and uh, i'm just kind of working on some space so i'm going to switch to time lapse and just kind of film this stuff uh because i'm fixing to move some of my presses All right, so yeah, um, for those of you that don't know, this is a windmill platen press. It does a technique called letter press because you print, well, you used to print with individual letters, but it's technically a platen press because the paper goes onto a platen and it pushes against the plate and um, that makes the image. Anyway, so I am moving it into where I think I want it. It's just an idea I had that I thought would make better use of the space in my workshop. And I figured I would do this live. It's a little heavy, it's 5,000 pounds. I think that's actually okay. Except that my pallet jack is trapped. Eh, not really, but it looks that way. So I'll just put it down there for a moment. Not really. Wheels to the rescue! My one too many toolboxes. on the side of the press. So I'm okay with just being able to get back here. And I think I actually work this press from here. And this can flip down when I'm working. So this will be okay. Let's see what we got left. Everything moves around and makes it a little more exciting to find things. I think this will work. It could be cozy, but that's okay. My cat's not sure if he approves of what I'm doing. This is one of two black cats. The other one doesn't really like to follow me around, so he probably won't come out here. Alright, so originally I was going to have the presses sitting out, but I got an exposure unit that needs to live over here. And that's what I'm actually sort of jockeying. My idea was I could keep the press against the wall, tuck the exposure unit in back here, and I'd be okay. I'm not sure if that's going to work. Um, and if I could do that, it'll leave me a whole lot more space in the center of the shop. 
So, yeah, where were we? We need to know what three feet looks like. Two, three feet. Three feet looks really tight. And let's look over here and see what we look like. So I think I need to push the windmill. Option two was this orientation. Let me think about this for a second. All right, so I don't think my sideways idea looks that great. It just makes this really tight, much tighter than I want it to be. So we're going to go back to plan A. Mm. That's all right. I really want to be doing printing more than anything else. So um, in the meanwhile, I'm going to have to swirl these around. Now, this press weighs about half what the other one does. And really, I shouldn't be moving these presses in here until that wall is done, but I, I just, hmm, I've been working on this too long. So, yeah, here we are. Yeah, I think that's actually okay. Um, I actually think it could be serviced like that. But... the amount of space.
clearance on that side. You know, I might have to wiggle to get some things in here. But it should work. So yeah, this will have to wiggle. So I want to put the exposure unit in the corner. And uh, I can do it. I just, I'm going to have to wiggle, take the press out to get the exposure unit in. And that's okay. It's on its way here. Uh, I got a heck of a deal. I'm real excited about it. It's a piece of equipment that as a new letterpress printer, I probably shouldn't have bought, but I like to have control. Those of you that watch my videos for a while know all about that. So anyway, this is designed to be a flexible workshop. So sawdust on one side, metal chips on the other, and paper on the other. And in the middle, I can flex the space to do what I need it to do. Yeah, I still got a lot of junk. Tools. Tools, yeah. Not junk. But uh, it, it's coming together, and, and I think it's going to work just fine. Um, in the meantime, I think this is all I want to mess with tonight. And I will mess with the plywood on the wall soon. Uh, I've been kind of crying about the price of plywood. $60 a sheet. It was bad enough when it was 35. This is crazy. And somebody's making a lot of money on plywood. Fucking bastards. Let me qualify that comment. 99% of us work for a living, and the other 1% steal from the other 99% of us. If you're watching this video, chances are you're not one of the thieves that's gouging everybody at $60 a sheet. If it was just a shortage of it, it shouldn't cost $60. $35 was bad enough. So yes, companies that engage in price gouging are thieves. And they're bastards. Okay, so I slid the presses out a little bit so I have some space to work behind them because I got to do some insulation and plywood on that. And then I can get my two presses set up. Man, this looks great. Can't believe the transformation in just a couple months. Anyway, thanks for watching. I think that's it for tonight. Remember to like and subscribe. I do have um, playlists that I use to organize the different topics on my channel. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you all soon.